بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد All praise to Allah جل جلاله أما نواله who has granted us this gift of Iman and the gift of the Quran when a person loves something then they don't need to be told to do that action automatically they will be inclined they will be avarice, they will be desirous to that which is beloved to them. Whether somebody is engaged in a sport and they love it, they do not need targhib or virtues. Somebody came to Mona Sayyid Khan Sabrahmatullah and asked him that Hazrat, how do we get istiqama in deen? He said, what a question. If you really need to know the answer, ask the shopkeeper. He goes very early in the morning, he departs late in the evening, he works overtime, he works on weekends, he works on the holiday period. Nobody, there isn't a specific jamaat in a group that's going door to door to tell people the virtues of opening up your business or the virtues of going to your profession and fulfilling the job requirements. There is no jamaat for that. Like how there is no need for a Jamaat for dunya, if the people of Deen had the desire for Deen and they understood the responsibility of Deen and they understood the greatness of Allah and they had love for Nabi wasalam, then they would not need to be motivated but automatically they would motivate others. They would become an inspiration. So we need to check ourselves how much of the love of Allah and His Rasul, how much love of Deen, how much love of Quran has entered my heart. They say there was a story, a, a, a parable given of an island where feelings used to love, happiness, sadness, knowledge, etc. and love. So it was an announcement made that this island would be submerged with water, everybody needs to be prepared. So love decided I will stay, but everybody else prepared and they departed. And when the last moment came for the island to be engulfed by water, then love asked for help to the other feelings, to the other elements that were there. So richness, wealth was passing by in a grand boat and love said, oh richness, can you help me and take me with you? So wealth said, no way, it's not a chance. There's a lot of gold, there's a lot of silver, there's a lot of jewelry in my possession. I've got no place for you. Then love asked vanity. Vanity said uh, that you do not fit my appearance. You are not eligible. Then sadness passed. And he, love said, can I go with you? He said, sorry, I'm by myself. I'm all alone. I cannot take anybody on board with me. Likewise, every vessel had passed, loved asked, and they had an excuse. Then a voice came, love, will you come with me? I'll take you. So it was one senior, one elder, so love was overjoyed. And love just mount boarded, embarked on the ship and they reached an area of dry land. So love didn't, in that overjoyment of almost going to drown, did not inquire where are we going. So when they arrive at the land, then uh, at that point in time, Love had to inquire, where are we and who was this one that helped me? So love found knowledge, another elder, and asked, who helped me? So knowledge answered, it was time. Then the question came, but why did time help me, O oh, knowledge? So knowledge replied and smiled. Obviously knowledge was endowed with wisdom and the answer was, because only time is capable of understanding how valuable love is. 
because only time is capable of understanding how valuable love is. So it should not be that when the angel of death comes to us, when a person is in the Qabr, when we are in Hashar, when Hisab Kitab, Mizan, then only time will tell the reality of Tilawat of Quran, will tell us the reality of getting up in the darkness of the night, give us the reality of fasting. Our oh Allah and His Rasul want us to fast every form of worship while flesh in front of a person. It should not be that time will tell us a lesson, but the wise take lesson before that. So the Quran is a valuable treasure. Imam Awzai rahmatullahi say, Khamsun kana alayha ashabu Muhammadin wa tabi'un bi ihsan. Five things, Sahaba and Tabi'een, the pious of the past, were passionate. They were very particular about and was noteworthy in their lives. Luzumul Jama'ah, that they adhered to the Jama'ah. Wa ittiba'u Sunnah, and they pursued Sunnah. Wa imarutul Masjid, and Inhabiting the masjid, frequenting the masjid, making sure that the masjid is abad and populated, not only at the time of Jumu'ah, not only at the time of Ramadan. Wa tilawatul Quran, number four. And they were very particular about making tilawat of Quran. Wal jihad fi sabilillah. And they were particular about striving in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They gave preference to the seer. Sufyan Dhawri rahmatullahi you say, Laytani kuntu iqtasartu ala al-Qur'an If only I dedicated my life to the Qur'an. Ibn Taymiyyah rahmatullahi you say, Wa nadimtu ala tad'i akthari awqati fi ghayri ma'ani al-Qur'an. I have regrets amongst my, amongst my greatest regrets is the time that I wasted in everything else besides the Qur'an and understanding the Qur'an. These are great, great, great scholars who from the time the eyes opened till they slept at night, from inception till the end, they strove and gave their lives for Allah, but they still had regrets. Like our person, is given an option to choose from a gold coin. There's a treasure of gold coins and they take gold coins. But after taking all of them, they realize one was eight, nine carat, one was 12 carat, one was 18 carat, one was 24 carat. All of them were gold coins, but each one was of different value. Sufyan bin Ayyina rahmatullahi used to say, Wallahi la tabluhu dhir wa tahadha al-amr hatta la yakuna shay'un ahabba ilaykum min Allah. That you will not reach the climax of your life until you dedicate your life to that which is most beloved to Allah. فَمَنْ أَحَبَّ الْقُرْآنِ فَكَدْ أَحَبَّ اللَّهِ Whoever loves Qur'an has surely loved Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The sign of the love of Allah is one is inclined, busy in the tilawat and the recitation of the Qur'an. Ifqahu ma yuqalu lakum. What I'm telling you, value it. What I'm telling you, value it. Salil mujarrab. If you want to ask anybody anything, ask an experienced person. These are ulama who are experienced. They've dedicated their life to Allah. The khulasa of their lives, they are telling us, listen well. This is very important. Ibn Masud radiallahu an. إذا أردتم العلم فانثروا القرآن If you want real knowledge then engage 
channel all your energy diversify your efforts into one direction fa fihi because in this quran ilmul awwalin wal akhirin this quran has the ilm and the knowledge of the first and the last everything that you need to find is in Quran Abu Huraira radiallahu an inna al-bayt alladhi yutla fihi al-Quran that house where Quran tilawat is recited our houses should be engaged we should hear the buzzing the sound of the Quran it tasa bi ahlihi it will become wide it will expand you will feel comfort and comfortable in in your homes wa kathra khayruhu only goodness will be witness wa hadratu al malaika and the malaika was strong in that household wa kharajat minhu al shayatin and the shayatin will disengage depart run far away from these houses wa inna al bayt alladhi la yutla fihi kitabullah and in that house where there is no Quran, it will become constrained, you will feel restless, there will be no peace and happiness in that house. There will be no goodness in this house. The Malaika abandoned those houses. And that's where you will find the gatherings of the Shayateen. Our life should, should circumambulate around the Qur'an. The excess of our life should be in Qur'an. More important than any book, more any important than any chat, more important than any update, more important than any status, more important than any profile, more important than any read, more any important than any author, more important than any bestseller, more important than any viral event. More important than any recipe book is the book of Hidayat. Here's recipes for Hidayat. More important than any survival guide, this book is a survival guide from the jungle of dunya and akhirat. More important than any manual of life is the manual of the Quran. It is a beginner's and ender's guide to everything. We cannot enumerate the bounty, the ni'am, the miracles of the Quran. Just at a glance, 1000 verses constitute promises, another thousand warnings, another thousand commands, another thousand prohibitions, another thousand simile, another thousand stories, 250 for haram forbidden, 250 for halal permissible, a hundred on the tarif and the glorification of Allah, 66 verses with miscellaneous issues, 6,666 ayat according to one qawl. This is the Qur'an, 114 surahs, 558 rukus, 14 sajdas according to one goal, 1,250 1, tashdids, 1,771 words, 105,684 dots. They've counted the dots in the Qur'an. Kasras 39,582, 53,243 fathas. 323,671 letters with regards to dots the first of seer that was written with only letters that do not have dots for example ba has a dot ta has a dot jim has a dot ha does not have a dot an entire tafsir sawati ul ilham allama abu al faith faithi ibn mubarak 5954 Hijri 1547 English calendar covered around 700 pages of seer of Quran written in two and two and a half years. In 1588 he became the Malaiku Shura. He was in the era of Akbar, the, the ruler at the time Akbar and uh, his elder brother was Akbar's historian. And uh, Akbar realized his geniusness and he appointed him as a tutor for his sons. So a tafsir, entire tafsir with no dots, 
What if man could write something, then the scribe of Allah, what Allah has written. Some of them have gone into detail of the number of words and the significance and the contrast and the opposites. Some of them have refuted it. We'll mention some men and women, opposites 24 times, shaitan and angel 88 times, opposites dunya and akhirat 115 times, calamity and gratitude, shukr 75 times, iman and kufr 17 times, life and death 145 times, the word month 12 times exactly, day 365 times, prayer 5 times. If we look at the Quran, we will marvel. Let's look at the number 18 and 81. It comes out, al husna 99 names of the Quran. So the names of the Quran, uh, in the Quran, the 99 names of Allah, 99, if we look at our hands, firstly, there's the number 18 in one hand, and a number 81 in the other hand, in our palms, when we are making dua, we are saying, Ya Allah, this is all I can submit, I am nothing, you are everything, 99, Ya Allah, you are everything, through your sifat, accept my dua, 99, 81 minus 18 comes out to 63, the life of Nubuwa, Nabi Alayhi Salatu Wasalam, lived for 63 years, we were blessed, then if you take the number 99 as well, then uh, the quran majid highlights each sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then we take the number 3, Alif, Lam, Ra. Let us look at just one surah, Surah Yusuf. There are three muqatta'at letters. Yusuf alayhi salam seen three, three, uh, the three dream seen in Surah Yusuf. One was Yusuf salam, one was the inmates of the prison, and one was by the king. The three objects seen, the star, the sun, the moon. Likewise, if these three you added, 11 star, sun, moon comes 13, is a number three. Three enclosures in the well where he was thrown, in the room where she tried to seduce him, and in prison, three shirts, the first false blood which the brothers brought. Then the shirt torn by Zulaikha and the third shirt sent by Yusuf salam to his father Yaqub. In prison there were three, Yusuf, the baker and the one who served the king drinks. Three principles mentioned in the entire story, Deen, Tawheed and Akhiram. The three dreams that were seen were of seven, so three times seven. The dream of the king, seven fat cows, eight, seven thin cows, seven green ears of corn, seven times three. The brothers went three times to Yusuf Islam, once without Binyamin, once with Binyamin, and the last time with Yaqub. Three false things, the false blood, the false accusation on Yusuf, and the false accusation on Binyamin alayhim as -salam. The three at the door, when they came to the door, Yusuf, Zulaikha, and the minister, Three Ambiya's names are mentioned among the forefathers, Ibrahim, Ishaq, and Yaqub. The summary of the entire Quran is in Surah Al-Fatiha. Summary of Surah Fatiha is in Bismillah. The reason ulama explain Bismillah Ba in Arabic means to link. The summary of your entire life is linking yourself to Allah, to be connected to Allah. Some ulama explain even more detail, even in the ba, the khulasa and summary of the ba is in the dot. That is indicating to tawheed and the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The number four is significant as well. If you look at the word Allah has four letters, the divine books, four Torah, Zabur, Injil, Quran. Uh, the word Allah is a noun referring to Allah, it has four letters. Likewise, Kalima Tayyiba has four words, La ilaha illallah. Similarly, the names, common names of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ahmad and Muhammad have four letters. The name of the Book of Allah, Quran, has four letters. The four great Malaika, Jibreel, Mikael, Safil, Israel, 
the four groups mentioned in the Quran, the believers, the hypocrites, the polyethists, and the people of the book, the rightly guided Khulafa for Abu Bakr Omar Uthman Ali, the Imams of Ijtihad, the four Madhaib, Abu Anifa, Shafi, Maliki, and Hanbali, the Fu'ul Adm Anbiya, Nabi Ali Salam, Ibrahim, Musa, Isa, Nu Ali, Salam, the Word Rasul comes four times in the Quran. It's mentioned four times in the Quran. The four chains of the of the Sufis, Qadiriya, Chistiya, Sawarwardiya, Naqshabandiya, the four daughters of Nabi Alayhi Salam, the pious children of Adam Alayhi Salam, Anbiya, Siddiqeen, Shahada, Salihin, four gardens of Jannah, Firdaus, Naim, Adan, Ma'wa, the fundamentals after Iman, Salah, Fasin, Hajj, Zakat, the lovers of Jannah, Zan, Jabil, Sal, Sabil, Rahik, Tasneem, the elements of the body are four, fire, wind, water, sand. So these are the miracles of the Quran. The Quran is a miracle for the Ummah. Let us value this Quran. May Allah give us the reality of the Quran. The Amal for today is that a person during confrontation should defend and not give in because martyrdom has been promised for a person who gives his life Man qutila duna malihi fawa shaheed In defense of your wealth you are shaheed Duna damihi protect yourself shaheed Duna deenihi protect your deen shaheed Duna ahlihi fawa shaheed Protect your family and you die, you will die the death of a shaheed. Wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.